Well, welcome back. Right now, California is under a state of emergency. More than 530,000 people are without power this morning after heavy rain and flooding. That's 130,000 more than just an hour ago. So let's get right to our own Abby Oconee. They're dealing with the impacts of a second atmospheric river, Abby, and that's to hit the state in just a few days. Yeah, we've been really worried about this one for days at this point. We want to start off by showing you this video from La Habra, just south of Los Angeles. A retaining wall collapsed onto a parking area at an apartment complex. This damaged two cars. Look at how intensely that rain is falling. The bigger concern here is the building at the top of that hill. And so far, just the carport and parking area have been red tagged. Authorities, though, keeping a close watch on that apartment building at the top of that hill. Meanwhile, in Encino, people had to be evacuated from several homes because of a debris flow. I mean, this is a problem we're seeing in communities all across the L.A. area. Not just homes, but flooded cars and more. With more details on what we're tracking in Southern California. We want to bring in Fox Weather's Max Gordon in another part of Los Angeles County this morning. Max, thanks for joining us. How are things looking there? Hey there, Abby. Well, we're in the Laurel Canyon neighborhood of Los Angeles. This is a very hilly area, and we're tucked right into the Hollywood Hills. And as you can see behind me, we've had a debris flow uh, during the height of this rain here. We had inches of rain come down in a very short period of time. And this is also the second atmospheric river event to hit this area in just a couple of days. The hillsides here are just absolutely saturated with rainwater. And as you can see, they gave way. Now, you can still see some of the water flowing down this hillside right here. You can also see a lot of members of the media here uh, swarming this neighborhood here. But you can see the water really hasn't let up all morning long. We've been here since 3.30 uh, or so local time in the morning, and it's been flowing very steadily all morning long. And with it, we've had these rocks that have been brought down the hill. These rocks at least a few hundred pounds, some of these guys. And so you can just only imagine the power of this water, uh, you know, sweeping them down the hill like that. You know, in downtown Los Angeles, uh, rain gauge measured 4.1 inches, according to the National Weather Service, in just 24 hours yesterday. That was the 10th wettest day for L.A. on record, tying the previous 10th day, or, or uh, a, a top 10 record there. It was the third wettest day uh, for February uh, for downtown L.A. Some rain gauges... Uh, uh, here in the Los Angeles area measured more than nine inches of rain in just the past couple of days. So tremendous amounts of water falling. Uh, Governor Gavin Newsom has declared states of emergency in eight separate counties in central and southern California. So it's really been an all hands on deck effort uh, with the storm recovery here. But yeah, that's the situation here in the Laurel Canyon. As you can see, uh, it's going to be quite the mess to clean up in the next day or two to come. Wow, Max, thanks for that reporting. So intense seeing the de uh, just the debris in those big yeah. rocks. Um, from the people you've talked to, how are they dealing with this in those communities that are extra vulnerable? Yeah, so this is actually an interesting community here. We've got a lot of celebrities who live here. Uh, George Clooney, uh, for one, uh, Zoe Deschanel. Uh, so this is kind of a, a high-profile community here in the Hollywood Hills. Uh, not a ton of people have come out and talked to us so far. It's kind of a, a very secluded spot, a place where people are pretty secretive. But there have been evacuation orders here in this neighborhood. About 16 people had to be evacuated during the height of this flooding and as this debris started flowing down the streets here. So uh, that was the situation earlier on. You know, the rain has let up a little bit here, uh, which is good news for folks, right? Uh, because, you know, we just have to just let the, the water make its way into the L.A. River, uh, you know, and through the, the drainages. Uh, but right now, even the L.A. River is raging right now. So this is a very unusual event for, for Southern California, for L.A. Uh, you know, this is an area that does get rain. It's a Mediterranean climate, but not this much rain in such a short amount of time. Wow, I cannot believe the rain totals that you're letting us know about. This is just wild. Um, yeah. Fox Weather's Max Gordon, thank you so much for reporting and stay safe out there today. Thank you very much. <laughs> Appreciate it. Uh, let's talk about what we're expecting going forward for Southern California. Just briefly want to break this down for you. Uh, this is an excessive rainfall threat. Uh, we're watching for the red and pink colors here surrounding Los Angeles area, Southern California. That's level three and four out of a four scale for excessive rain. More flash flooding today. There's a lesser threat for severe rain tomorrow, but you're still going to notice the green and yellow colors, L.A. through Nevada, parts of Arizona. That's a marginal to slight risk of flooding. 
rain and then much less rain expected on Wednesday. At, at this point, it's really going to be about the aftermath as we head into Tuesday and Wednesday. And by the time everything is said and done, we're expecting an additional one to three inches for in many places in Southern California, isolated totals of four additional inches or more. Right back here at home, we don't have a lot of moisture, but we are seeing isolated to scattered showers today. And Brian, that's a, a big change from the sunshine in the 50s that we had this week. Yeah, it sure is. That was a beautiful weekend we had up here in the Pacific Northwest past couple of days.